In this video, we will learn the time, speed and distance as many problems are based on these three things, time, speed and distance. A speed is nothing but the rate at which distance is covered. And that's the basic lesson of time, speed and distance can be written as speed equals to distance that is covered upon time, time taken to cover the distance. The speed here we can see is directly proportional to distance. Thus, if the twice of distance is covered in the same time without exceeding the li limit of time, we have to double up the speed. So if you double that distance, we have to double the speed to get to reach the destination in the same time. Here we can also observe the speed is inversely proportional to time. So, if the speed becomes x times time taken to cover the same distance will become 1 by x times. If we increase the speed by x, then the time taken will be reduced by will become 1 by 1 by x. So, this analogy is very useful in solving many problems. Suppose a person who is going to office generally with the speed of 30 meter per second. Suppose one day he goes by the speed of 40 meter per second. He is the office 10 So we will take it kilometer per hour. It will be more useful, more. One concept we can learn how to convert kilometer per hour into meter per second. The, to convert a kilometer per hour, we have to multiply by 5 into 18. To convert into to convert a speed in kilometer per hour to meter per second, we can multiply it 5 by 18. We get the speed in meter per second. Suppose 30 kilometer per hour. To convert it into meter per second, we can multiply it by 30, 5 by 18. So this is meter per second. So let's come back to the problem. If a person is going to office, Generally, with the speed of 30 km per hour, one day he goes with the speed of 40 km per hour. He reaches the office 10 minutes earlier. So, what is the usual time it takes to reach the office and distance he covered? So, we have to find out the usual time and distance. We know the speed. And we know that if, we, if we increase the speed, from by 10 km per hour, he reaches early as 10 minutes. So, to solve this problem, we will assume that distance is d and time taken, usual time taken is d. So, total distance upon total time equals to 30. One equation we get to have. If the, in the second case, the distance is same d. He takes the speed of 40 km per hour. So he reaches time 10 minutes less than the usual. Usual time is 10. So 10 minutes. 10 minutes we have to convert in hours. So it will be 60 by 10. 10 by 16. 1 by 6 hours. So in, from these two equations, we have two unknown two equations that can be solved to find out d and t. So using this simple analogy, we can solve any problem related to time, speed and distance. This formula is very useful in dealing with these problems. And other thing to convert 1 km per hour to meter per second, we should remember 
this glacial also kilometer per hour equals to 518 meter per second 